With the largest crowd in NFL regular season history looking on, Lawrence Tynes kicked a 37-yard field goal as time ran out, giving the New York Giants a 33-31 victory over Dallas Sunday night. The last second win put a damper on the debut of the Cowboys' $1.15 billion stadium. Former President George W. Bush was among the crowd of just over 105,000. Tynes actually made the winning kick twice. Dallas called time just before the first one was snapped, so he had to do it again. Dallas went ahead 31-30 in a touchdown run by Felix Jones with 3 minutes and 40 seconds left in a back-and-forth game that produced seven lead changes before Tynes won it for New York. The Giants beat a turnover-prone Dallas team Sunday night. Aside from field goals on their first and last drives, the Giants' other 27 points were all set up by turnovers. Eli Manning was sharp for New York, the quarterback going 25 of 38 for 330 yards with a pair of 22-yard touchdowns. Giants receivers Mario Manningham and Steve Smith each caught 10 passes, with Manningham's covering 150 yards and Smith's going for 134. But Manning's Dallas counterpart had a less than stellar outing. Tony Romo completed just 13 of 29 for 127 yards with a touchdown and was picked off three times with the first interception returned for a touchdown. Steve Carmison, The Associated Press.